You ready, Mason? <laughs> let's let's see this baby. I can play. Play the tune. You play. <laughs> It's got effects, eh? Mm. It works. <laughs> it works just fine. That's awesome. I'm going to get this fixed, though. I'm going to solidify this. That's Dad's job. Crazy. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It'd be good for that much, for sure. Really fun. Frost, tell me how all this got started. Um, it started because of our friendship with uh, with Catherine Landry, who's uh, with Ladies Who Lunch. Um, she put out a call for action for, to, for donations for the Cross Lake Youth community, which is in crisis right now. And uh, we thought we could uh, give her some help, maybe pick up a couple of guitars, maybe um, some keyboards, and this happened. <laughs> <laughs> This is your living room. This is my living room. It's uh, quite full right now. And the bar too? Uh, the bar, there's still some stuff at the bar. We keep bringing things here to make sure that it's, it's in safe keeping here. But uh, people keep uh, coming in and making donations up at Pub 101 and it's been amazing. What does that tell you? Um, just the, the sheer generosity of folks around town. And we, uh, up to Kingston, we've got a guy up in Kingston called Jay Smith, Smitty Kingston. Uh, he's brought down a few loads um, of instruments as well, which has been incredible. What is your hope for this? Um, just that it transforms this community into a music-loving, sports-oriented community and that these suicides stop. What do you think that it takes an Ottawa woman and Ottawa people to try to make a difference? Just love. Very simple. Just give a little bit of love and show people you care and it can make all the difference in the world. Have you been frustrated by what's happening on the Native Reserves? Absolutely frustrated. Um, with the monies and all these councils going on and all of these conferences and nothing seems to be getting done. And now? And now it seems like a bunch of ladies from Ottawa are getting the job done. Um, obviously not to the point that they need, but at least we're giving them a little bit of hope, letting them know that somebody cares out there for them.